Hey guys, my name is Tyler Song. Thanks for checking out my channel. So I've been getting some questions recently regarding what's the difference between chest voice, head voice, and mixed voice. In particular, the head voice and the mixed. So today I want to clear things up for you and show you how I teach vocal registration. Let's start with chest voice. So the chest voice is essentially the voice you use to speak with. If you say, hey, 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 how are you? And everywhere in that general comfortable range of down here to all the way up here and everywhere in between. And everyone's gonna have their own range that's comfortable for them with their own speaking voice. But the thing is, eventually that speaking voice, if you continue to drive it higher and higher and higher, it tends to start to feel uncomfortable. And this is why we have technique to help us start to blend into a perceptual sounding mixed voice that sounds like it's a little bit of chest and a little bit of head. And that moves us on to the next voice, which is the head voice. If I say, woo, very different than, hey, down here. So you've all done this at some point in your life, whether on a roller coaster, at a theme park, or at a sporting event, we all do the the whooping head voice. Do it one time, just say Woo! Really like you're at a game cheering or something like that. And you'll find your head voice. Now here's where the confusion comes in. Because if taken high, that head voice can actually have quite some volume to it and even some power to it. But when you bring that head voice down into where the blend of the voices should be like this. I start to peter out. I start to lose presence. I start to lose quality to the tone, to my voice, and it's just not going to be suitable for singing. It brings an issue because if we try to bring this speaking voice for most people all the way up, hey, I'm, there's going to be a point where it just feels uncomfortable and it feels like I'm straining and it kind of sounds like it too at, at, a, at a certain point in the range. And if I bring this head voice down, I start to I start to run out and there needs to be a mechanism a coordination or a configuration that allows us to seamlessly blend from the bottom to the top so I want to show you two things first of all I want to show you on one pitch the difference of head voice versus uh, a mix and then I also want to show you how you can take your voice from all the way to the bottom and all the way to the top without breaking, but while transitioning to your mix and to eventually your head. If I take this pitch right here and I say, that's a head voice. Now, what if I say, they're different. Now, I'm adding vibrato, yes, but the point is, the sounds are different. One is fluty and head voice like. The other has more presence. It has more volume, especially if you could be in here with the room with me. You would hear a ballooning of the volume that is sometimes hard to capture on a little microphone. But it's not just chest and it's not just head. It's something else and so I call it a mixed voice. Sometimes I'll even refer to it as a middle voice. Now, next thing I want to show you is that if you start down low in your range, you can take that all the way up, slide it all the way through and back down without any evidence of transition. Let me show you. Uh... So there's no break there. I'm not saying uh... and flipping into falsetto or or even a light, airy head voice. Falsetto and head voice terminology is for a different day. Today is just about the difference of chest, head, and mix. So you can hear that I'm not going up, uh, but I'm also not going up uh, and trying to shout, which will not feel good. But uh, just straight through. Now, the process of developing that ability 
to be able to transition from your chest voice to your mix to your head and seamlessly blend them all so that it really feels like you have one voice. It doesn't feel like you're shifting gears and you're switching all the time. But nonetheless, because you built in that coordination from bottom to middle to top, it becomes a fluid motion. So in time, you don't have to think about it. But don't misunderstand me. There really isn't a magic pill you can take to magically be singing in your mix and connect your voices overnight. There are certainly exercises you can do. There are certainly programs that are available to purchase that are fantastic. But the main determining factor is going to be something called deliberate practice. And deliberate practice over time. When things start to get hard, when they start to get boring and mundane, it is those of you who stick it out who continue to work and continue to strive for something that is not easily attainable. And it's those of you who are the ones who are going to master this technique of blending the voices, the chest, the middle, and the head, and seamlessly transitioning between them, appearing to just have one voice. So I hope this video clears up some things of what's the difference between chest, mix, and head, but especially the mix and the head voice. They are different. Although the mix has a head voice release timbre to it, it certainly is different than just head voice. So I hope this video helps some of you out there. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and hit subscribe to my channel so you're notified when I release more videos like this. Until next time.